everybody, Corbino here, and we got ourselves a kind of review, rant, complaining video here. Probably won't be too long, but we're gonna we're just talking about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Beyond the Grid. This may, it will probably have a little bit of spoilers for issues 31 through what, like 38. It's been almost a year now since the Shattered Grid story arc came to a close. I even made a review, like a hell of a long one, still hasn't been edited. Maybe you'll see it one day, maybe you won't. I don't know. Anyways, uh, so everything's back to normal, but there's still rangers like trapped out in uh, freaking not Terra Nova, the Terra Venture. Okay, um, and those rangers are, let me look over here real quick. We got the future badass, like, Pink Ranger Kim from the Shattered Grid story arc. The Magna Defender. Tanya from the Yellow Zia Ranger. The Blue Dinah Charge. The Green Ninja. Uh, green Ninja Storm, but he's like Green Samurai, which confuses me. And Andros the Red in Space Ranger. And uh, Astronema or uh, Corone, she's in it. With a few others there in the background. And... I really can't get into it. It's really rare for me to drop a series. Like, you know, I'll tr I'll pick up the first issue or so and try it out. And if I don't like it, then I won't add it to my pool. If I do, then I add it. And with the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger series, I added that to my pool before it even started. And I loved it. The artwork, the stories, fantastic, everything. And like it was in its own like universe away from the TV show but also still there slightly and then the whole Shattered Grid event which I don't really know that took place over Mighty Morphin Power Rangers some annuals and stuff and Go Go Power Rangers all together I'd say that was probably 10 or so issues I don't really remember exactly but it was a really good arc and like where were you where are you gonna go from there um, Go Go Power Rangers which I still talk about and I thank God it's Wednesdays they're doing some good stuff, and we're still focusing on the original Mighty Morphin Rangers. And I was even thinking, you know, we don't have to keep doing Mighty Morphin. We can go to um, do something else. We can make it a Zeo series, or a Turbo, or a freaking Operation Overdrive, anything. But it bothers me because it's called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it's not the. I don't. Even, is there even a single Mighty Morphin? No, not a single Mighty Morphin Power Ranger except for the future Kimberly, like. How they should have made this arc, which it would be kind of hard because the Go Go Power Rangers one is still continuing from where it finished up in uh, the Shattered Grid story arc. So it's still the past, like season one Rangers, while these were like season three Rangers, you know. And wait, was he was Tommy a White Ranger in this series? Season, I'll just be, not season three, because they, now Go Go Power Rangers, that was focusing on like early season one Rangers, Tommy wasn't even there yet, and so if they would have made, because Go Go Power Rangers, that can go for any of the Power Rangers, so this Beyond the Grid story arc should have been in that comic book series, because it would have made more sense, because they're still Power Rangers, but for the Beyond the Grid story arc to continue with the, in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series, that doesn't really make sense. And, I mean, this one took place during, like, season two of the Rangers of the show, kind of-ish, I believe. Um, but, yeah, so everything's supposed to be back to normal, except for this, like, pocket dimension type deal. And, like, they got uh, Magnet Defender and Yellow Zeo following in love, and I don't hate it. I like seeing Astronema here and there, and they introduced some new, like, purpley, weird ranger. It's cool having a new lineup and whatnot, but, like, I just truly can't get into it. I've dropped the series at issue 38. I mean, that was a couple months ago at this point. I just haven't reviewed it. And I really, and I was really hesitant to drop the series. The last three issues of it, I didn't even read. I just skimmed. Like, I read these each week that came out, and I was like, get better, get better, get better. It didn't. And then, like, the last two or three, I just skimmed and was like, these really are not doing it for me. And I'm sure they're doing great for someone else, but to go from Shattered Grid to Beyond the Grid, well, it's beyond me why they chose this route. 
until next time, let's get more phenomenal.